App requests are those apps generated by power users using a K2 app wizard who do not have app builder permissions. These apps are queued for a K2 app framework administrator to review and approve after which they are published. An app framework administrator can also choose to save the approved app as an app template here for other users to generate new apps from. You can use the page under the Requests tab to manage these app requests. Here, you can select and launch an app if it is already marked as generated by selecting the app in the app list, then click on the Launch button from the menu at the top. You can also double-click on a generated app to launch it. If you would just like to know more details about one of the generated apps, you can select the app row in question from the list, then click on the Details button to open up the Details window for more information. This will show workflow and data source information, amongst other things. Also know that you can look at survey questions for survey-based apps in the Details window if necessary. You can also take an existing app in your environment and make it an app template if you feel the design of that app can be reused across multiple areas in your organization. Creating and using templates saves time and provides consistency for your users by reusing existing apps as the foundation for new ones. Select the app from the list and then click Make Template. From there, you can rename and add details to the new template. The Save Template will then appear over on the Templates tab. Know as well that you can create multiple templates from the same app. From there, when you or one of your users goes to create a new app, you can select the template from the available app templates list. You can delete an app from the requests list as well by selecting it and then clicking on the Delete button from the menu at the top. Use caution when performing this action because deleting an app removes all aspects of this app. This includes active workflow instances as well as historical data. Notice the status column on the right side of the list. This column shows current status for an app, which includes the following. Administration investigation, pending approval, initialize, under review, canceled, declined, and generated. You can click on the status of an app request item if you would like to view the workflow's view flow report for more details. Finally, you can also filter this list by using the drop-down list name show in the upper right, which will allow you to filter based on published, pending approval, declined, or canceled applications in your environment.